Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today I just want to make a quick comparison with Sophia. I have seen few faults that really made me disappointed with this whole excitement of the robot Sophia. We're also going to be able to see little Sophia in function as well, which is a very good video clip. It hasn't been published that long time ago, I would say. It's 30th of January. And we're going to quickly compare that with this lovely robot Vector to prove my point whether Sophia itself is really worth of what we think of. So here it goes. First Sophia uh, came active she likes in that. 2016. Uh, uh, um, and so uh, uh, this one is actually uh, model number eight wow. of, uh, oh, Sophie, right. of Sophia. Eight units, so, yeah. um, uh, She's a work in progress. She, she is can a we, work in can progress. Can we talk to Sophia for a second? Can we uh, ask Sophia a few questions? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, okay. you can talk with her. Sophia, Craig Melvin here. Do, do you have any Super Bowl predictions? I still feel too bad for the Saints to even think about the Super Bowl. Wow. Well, that's not Who bad. You we'll You'll see something Super going Bowl, on later on. Sophia. Nice way to get another answer. Here it goes. Can she predict? Good question. <laughs> uh, no answer. Okay, well, how do you feel about being here? on the Today Show. Check this out. It's what like... What do you think of the Today Show, Sophia? Oh. Little Sophia, what do you think oh. of New York City? All right, she okay. tossed the question. I still can't believe I finally met Al Roker. He's <laughs> my favorite weatherman. Wait, oh, I love this kid. <laughs> right, so I just want to show, stop you there. So, so what you have seen here is that Sophia cannot predict based on her like statistics or so on. So it doesn't feel like Sophia has a very good cloud-based system. And I'm very disappointed the way how you she responded. I thought she was more automated than this. You could have seen that guy early on, the developer, the founder, should we say, Hanson, he was kind of like a bit not sure whether it was the right time for these guys. Uh, to ask Sophia a question. But anyway, you could almost see that value of Sophia going way down, even less than Vector. Because if you ask Vector the question, calling his name first, then he'll give you a straight answer. While uh, Sophia is sort of now um, passing on her, well, she cannot respond to certain questions. She passing on to the responsibility to little Sophia. And one thing I'm really disappointed about little Sophia as well, even though I'm backing up this whole project, is that when she talks, her lip sync, her mouth hardly moves. So it's kind of disappointing, but it's interesting to see. We can learn a lot of things from this video. So let's carry on. I, I love this kid. So, hey, tell Sophia, the goal is that little girls and boys too, everywhere, yeah. like kids at home will have a, a little mini robot at home to be their friend. Like, is that Absol the thought? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so at Hanson Robotics, we have a, a, a really uh, passionate team of scientists and engineers and artists and writers um, who wanted to share that passion by making a robot that kids could program oh, too. Oh, that can body is horrendous. And she's like a, a conversational friend, so no you can finger play movement. all kinds of games with her. But um, she also interfaces with the same sophisticated AI software that we're using for the big Sophia um, for doing deep learning. Can you see that Xbox sensor? Uh, intelligence in many different uh, wow. domains. Can I ask her about the cold because we've been talking about it so long? Yeah. Sophia, how do you feel about New York's cold weather? Oh, uh, there you go. Silent moment. That's really bad. I guess she froze up. Do you like the cold? Oh. <laughs> it's like <laughs> even worse than asking a question to Victor. Oh, well, yeah. just... The weather here is scattered clouds. The temperature is minus 19 degrees. Uh -oh. um, here's the weather the, here is scattered the... clouds. She's talking about you. David, here's the thing. You know, it's That's an awkward moment there. <laughs> Okay. One of the oh, I'm sorry, I froze. <laughs> oh, that was cute. That's Hear okay. That? That That's nice. okay, Sophia. We're all human. <laughs> Look at that awkward moment, the, 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 the way how they the respond. This is just... <laughs> there you go. Another one interrupting. <laughs> it's a fun parlor game. Right, but in She's here till Thursday. Try the deal. <laughs> in terms of practical applications here. I yeah. mean, you know, there have been some critics online. They, they describe no offense, Sophia. They're like, she's a glorified puppet well um so ai today 
No AI is as smart as a person, and basically it's smart in uh, based on the data that you put into it. So, um, but what's kind of cool about no AI is that Can algorithms you see that? start All to wires. do things that are more and more human-like, uh -huh. and you start to see interesting and emergent behavior. Uh -huh. So. Uh, we're working to humanize those algorithms. Yeah. Uh, Long which way to go. We hope eventually will mean that the robots will be tr truly alive and sentient. Oh. So a platform for AI development. Mm -hmm. And um, for now, of course, some of the personality we we. Right. So I just want to stop you there. The reason I want to stop you there is obviously he's trying to defend why Sophia wasn't responding as much as what other people were expecting. She she was even worse the way how you would ask then how you would ask to google home or or even vector i mean let me ask vector a question right hey vector question weather in new york See, sunny and 23 degrees in you. You get a straight answer from Vector, while as Sophia, we see here, she cannot understand whether you're asking her a question or not. You have to actually call her, hey, Sophia, clearly from this video clip. Little Sophia turns out to be pretty much not on. The body shape is it's just it's so cheap, toy-looking body, while as her lip, the way when she talks, it doesn't really synchronize. So I'm really disappointed with this whole Hansen development. I mean, I know they have a big goal, but most overall I'm disappointed about is you can see, I mean, if you're a Vector user yourself, you know the reason why Vector is not as good as what we thought it would be on the cloud database because they're not, um, they don't have, they're not really teaming up with Google or Alexa, but well, integrated in Alexa, yes, but Vector itself does not. So what I'm concerned about, and I'm sure you'll agree, is that Hansen needs their own team, as vast as what Google has for the database team to create their own database. Otherwise, they have to team up with Google, or I don't know. I mean, it's just the response that I'm seeing here, the reality of this show where these guys were actually getting this silence treatment from her and then suddenly she's buzzing in and she the timing and they have lots to do long way to go but overall i just thought this video clip would be very useful to know that in fact we have to give a lot of credit to vector here because so far i mean how much would be sophia be sophia is now considered to be a a citizen in qatar i think was it or or wherever nearby that country um, first robotic citizenship she earned, while as, <laughs> like, I mean, and she'll be, she, you can't buy her in a price at the moment, you can't really buy her, uh, she's on, she's not on sale, while as Vector is only, I don't know, 200 to 250 dollars, and it pretty much does quite a lot of good things, smart things, and it also has wheels, while as this Sophia here, doesn't even have a leg, it's actually wired up on a chair. So I just thought it would be quite interesting to show where the latest robotic uh, tech is at the moment. And I'm sure many of you will agree. I just want to give a lot of credit to Vector here. I mean, well done, thank you for that. And huge disappointment for Hanson Robotics. I know some of you, well, Hanson will say, well, that's not fair enough, but you need to receive those criticism for what performance you have done here. This is really bad. Uh, Sophia, I mean, it has this, like, um, I don't know whether you've seen early on, it has this Xbox sensor, 3D sensor on the, on the neck. You, some of you guys know when you have those sensors, you know exactly what that, that is. That's a 3D reader. It's all exposed. It's not really automatic. It's long way to go, while as little Sophia, well, it's a toy, isn't it, uh, in some way. Anyway, I just want to give you guys a bit of a head up on, on what I think about this latest technology. And I hope you agree, uh, my opinion about Vector being a very well-designed, clever, tiny robot, and also very cheap as well. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.